so my, my name is Adi, I'm from Applied Blockchain, and we're a company that develops blockchain applications. Uh, we've developed quite a few now, and all of those applications are currently residing on private blockchain networks. And the reason for that is because uh, of the uh, scalability issues, um, so the inability of the public blockchain to host the number of transactions and the throughput that we need for these applications, and also the cost of sending all of those transactions onto the public network. So we do envisage taking those applications to the public network at some point, uh, but at this point it's going to be quite a challenge. For that reason, they're all hosted as private networks, and that with itself comes with a bunch of challenges. Um, a lot of those applications are starting to be powered by tokens, and those tokens are, uh, live themselves on the public network. And so we need a way of connecting to the public network or bridging between the, the public network and, and the private network where these applications are hosted. So this conference for us is really a way of understanding uh, in a really condensed manner what's out there, what the options are, what the solutions are uh, for scaling these applications really quickly and actually bridging those two things, the token on the public chain and the ability to do things on the public chain versus uh, the, the, the super and scalability that we need now uh, on, on these applications. And it's quite interesting because as, as an application developer, we see different requirements in different applications. Some of them have uh, sort of quite low latency, low throughput. Others have very, very high volumes. Uh, and so some of the solutions we've seen today uh, apply more to, to, to one uh, project or application than another. So that's been quite in interesting as well, is actually mapping those projects to the applications that we're working on. Yeah. Uh, when we look at an application, then um, I think one of the things that uh, we've got a number of options, I guess, for, for what goes off the main net. Uh, it could be a private blockchain, so it could be um, uh, you know, an Ethereum test net uh, or private network. Um, it could also be a, a side chain um, or channel. And I think the consideration for us would be how, first of all, are we looking more at data or more at logic that needs to run in a smart contract? Uh, are we looking more at transfer of value or, again, uh, workflow and, and, and data and logic? If it's more workflow, data, logic, then you're really looking at smart contracts. Um, if, it's, if it's pure transfer of value, so tokens moving around and really not much else, uh, or, or movement of assets, then we're probably more, more looking at a side chain um, or, or possibly a channel. Then the thing that would really drive us towards a channel-based solution is the requirement for really high volume. So potentially millions of transactions a second um, and, and, and you know, tens or hundreds of uh, millions of transactions a day potentially. So really massive volumes or large volumes of data associated with those, that's when we'd go to something that's less a blockchain and more uh, a channel that's attached to it. Yeah. Okay. Um, when we look at which solutions we're going to be using ourselves for these projects uh, in the next few months, then because the starting point for most of those projects is a private Ethereum parity chain, um, the, the natural progression from that is to test the parity bridge uh, and to actually um, look towards, I guess, the polka dot vision, um, which is having these uh, different chains connected all to, to, to a mainnet through initially through a bridge, eventually through Polkadot. That's the starting point. Um, but again, for the projects that are more uh, transaction intensive uh, and less, let's say, workflow intensive, uh, we would also consider and look at and test the different uh, sidechain and channel uh, options. And for the ones that we've seen today, uh, some of them are in, they're in different stages, some of them are quite early. So we're going to start to test them uh, and actually see what works, what doesn't, and you know, keep keep going and keep testing as these as these platforms evolve. So now, if you could just give me a brief summary, um, sort of what you liked about the event, and what you thought yep. was unique about that. Okay. Um, when I look at this event, this is really ideal for us because uh, we're spending a lot of time with our customers developing these projects. We don't have a lot of time to really go out and spend at events, unfortunately, as much as we enjoy this. For us, this is really focused. Uh, the real problem that we have is scaling. Uh, and linking to, to public networks and public tokens. Those are really two of our biggest problems. 
And this event was just getting all the right people in the room to see what's out there to solve the problem now. Uh, fantastic initiative, uh, really well, well done for, for Giveth from our perspective, setting up something that was really, really useful uh, for us. We've made connections here with people that we're going to be working with going forward. We've accelerated doing that. If, we'd have, if, if it would have been without the event, we would have reached out. Who knows how quickly these things would have moved. So it's really speeded things up for us as well uh, as a company. We're also looking ourselves at how some of the problems that our clients have got around growing these private networks um, and uh, incentivizing parties that help them to grow and provide services into those private networks um, uh, uh, can be facilitated. So we're looking at building something ourselves to help with that. Uh, and the people we've met here are really the right people to talk to about doing that type of thing as well. So fantastic. Thank you very much.